What's going on guys? This is Tim Marbury Cards and this is a test video. I want to see the quality. I want to show you a recent pickup. See what's going on. So, just browsing Facebook Marketplace and came across a couple of things. One is this theme deck. Uh, Roaring Skies. Articuno Art. I don't know if you guys can see that. There it is right there. But this wasn't really why I picked it up. It was this stack of cards right here, which is why I picked it up. When I was looking at the listing, it just popped up while I was at work, looking around. And I saw this stack of cards, and in this stack, I saw an Alakazam from the base set. And when I saw that, I was saying, hmm, maybe this is worth the pickup. So let, let me show you what was also there. They had these old card lists from Team Rocket, Jungle, Fossil. Um, had all the theme decks, as you can see here. Misty, Tenet Surge, Sabrina, Koga, pretty cool. Um, and then had the set lists for base set two, base set, uh, jungle, fossil, gym heroes, pretty cool stuff, right? So I knew there were some vintage cards in here. Some pretty vintage cards were gonna be in this. This is another one. And then these were the rule books. And this was advanced rule book version three. So when I saw this, I was saying maybe there'll be some hidden gems in here. And I was sort of right. Um, once I picked it up and I started going through the cards, which I'm going to show you guys in a second. I realized that this was probably theme decks because there's a lot of energies. But then there was some random stuff like this. Starmie from base set. Bill from base set. Weedle from base set. Super Potion. And it just keeps going. Star you, Gust of Wind, Kakuna, Bill. Bulbasaur, Kakuna again. Um, and then I kept going and I came across this. Saffron City Gym. And then I thought, hmm. Maybe this was a theme deck from Gym Heroes, since the card list so it showed up to Gym Heroes. So I was scrolling through it, and there's Onyxes, there's Farfetch'd, Sandtrue, Onyx, Energy Removal, all this stuff. And then I saw Sabrina's Abra, and a lot of duplicates. Another Sabrina's Abra, Sabrina's Drowsy. Sabrina's Ghastly, Sabrina's Ghastly, Sabrina's Haunter, Sabrina's Cadabra, Sabrina's Abra, you know, all these cards. So I sort of knew it was a theme deck that this person was just selling out of the clear blue sky on a market post. So I was wondering, was that Alakazam what I thought it really was? To my surprise, it was. And I sleeved up the good ones out of the garage, and I think it was worth the trip and the expense of getting there and picking it up and making a deal. But here it is. It is indeed a base set Alakazam. And I'll go through those later, but you know, the quality wasn't as good as I hoped. Um, the hollow foil looks pretty good there's you can see the scratches you can see the whitening or silvering on the sides and in the back you can also see the silvering across the whole back and that big dent right there so that was sort of unfortunate that it wasn't in the best condition but you know I don't have one of these I really wanted one I saw it in the thumbnail of the thing and I took a risk the next cards that I'm going to show you are sort of what made it worth it after all. Um, 
Sabrina trainer card rare, uh, non hollow. It's probably also in the theme deck, but pretty cool. So this is sort of a surprise. A star you shadowless. I'm not sure how this made it into the bunch. It was the only shadowless card in the lot. The condition is pretty good. Um, you know, there's a little whitening at the top. It's whitening on the sides. Tips, you know, some bad whitening over there. So, I'd say this is like a 6 out of 10 maybe. Light played. But to find that in the lot was sort of nice. Something different. Uh, next was Ivasaur. Very good condition. I sort of sleeved up the starters since they're sort of more sought after and I really like this card. Next was Beedrill. So this is also a rare from base set. I guess it was also in the theme deck. But I feel like there was two theme decks. One was the Sabrina and one was a maybe the Gyarados one with the leaf in water. Without the Gyarados, of course, um, but it had a lot of Star Youth Army, as you saw when I showed that. So maybe that's where that came from. Not exactly sure. This you're wondering, oh, Japanese card? How'd that get in there? Not exactly sure, but Rockets Mewtwo. This and this card is in very good condition. And as you may know, the Japanese cards just they just look a lot cleaner. Um, they were better produced back in the day. And, um, you know, this is a really nice card. I was, I was happy to get this. I did not expect this to be in the lot at all. Um, so that's that. And Bulbasaur, like I said, I, I sleeved up some of the starters um, that were in there. And this is also in very good condition. I mean, these are, like, almost pack fresh, I'd say. You know, you can see the little nicks in the corners. You know, it's probably, you know, mint, you know, very near mint. Um, but for the most part, a lot of these cards are in pretty good condition. And finally, this is sort of the, not the best card, but I think overall with the condition and what I paid, this is, this is pretty good. And I'm pretty sure this is what sealed the deal that I knew this was a theme deck. This is Sabrina's Alakazam. Obviously, it's not first edition, so it's not that good, but I mean, the hollow foil is pretty flawless. You can see a couple of dots, uh, a black dot right there and a white dot by the spoons. But other than that, this card is in very good shape. back there's really barely any lightning on the corners just a couple nicks I'd say this is a PSA 7 or 8 easily and you know I'll tell you guys how much I paid for this I paid 20 bucks for this whole lot including the theme deck so all in all I was pretty happy with the purchase You know, you don't come across this stuff that often. That's just, you know, oh, here's a lot. And the lot is vintage stuff. Usually it's newer stuff. People just sell a bunch of bulk from Unbroken Bonds or Unified Minds or whatever. But this was actually a pretty good purchase for me just to get these two cards, you know, that are obviously not you know nine or ten worthy but they're in, in good shape they're, you know it's nice to have in in the collection just to start off and uh, you know i'm really excited to start collecting start selling start sharing with you guys all the adventures that i'm going to be going on getting cards opening cards showing you guys what's out there what you can get and you know I'm really excited so I guess that's it for uh, for this one 
This is more of a test video. I'm not sure if I'm even going to post this video. I sort of just got this tripod and um, I really want to set it up the right way. Give you guys a nice background, give you guys a good viewing area. Um, you know, sort of learn how to do all this stuff the right way. And, uh, you know, I want you guys to follow me on my journey. Getting back into Pokemon after finding my collection at my parents' house not too long ago. And just really feeling like I want to get into this again. It was really fun when I was a kid and now I have some funds to spend. Might as well. You know, this stuff's really nice. Uh, I miss all this stuff. So, um, I'll see you guys in the next one. And thanks for liking, commenting, and subscribing. See ya.